Hey everyone, we're back with another video. In this video, we're gonna address the new uh, 2022 Tesla Model 3 Standard Range Plus and what's really changed. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Every Tesla built after November 1st is going to be a 2022 model. But people don't realize that Tesla makes hardware changes or just changes in general, not tied to model year, but just whenever it becomes available. So as we saw recently, in September, they slowly started to roll out the LFP pack in some of the standard range plus cars that they had in existing inventory, which is something we had acquired ourselves. And those cars came with the LFP pack, which had approximately 252 or 253 miles of EPA range. The car could also be charged to 100%. It came with a performance motor, and it also came with a long range suspension to compensate for the extra weight on the battery pack. The car was also rated to go 0 to 60 in 5.3 seconds. But what we heard is that the 2022 model year vehicles will transition to the LFP pack car. Yet, the LFP pack car was introduced in 2021, so we can't say this is a model year change necessarily. It is interesting though that the cars that are rolling out of the factory now have an EPA range of 272 miles as opposed to 253, and the zero to 60 time has changed from 5.3 to 5.8. So it's definitely possible that they're introducing a larger LFP pack. That hasn't been confirmed though. But what we think's happened is that they've implemented some sort of software update to maximize the range. And in doing so, it affects the zero to 60 time possibly by lowering the peak discharge currents. And honestly, zero to 60 time, not a drastic difference. The car is still super fast. And I'm wondering myself if my LFP car will eventually get that update. The second thing is that we don't necessarily know if these new cars are going to have the performance motor or the long range suspension. What we're thinking is that the cars introduced in September, October, November, the existing inventory cars, sort of were thrown together with parts that were available. As we know, there's great shortages that Tesla's facing, and it's possible they're just doing good with what they have. But as we know, the 2022 model year will, you could sort of identify the car by looking at the VIN. For resale value purposes, the VIN will start with an N versus an M. I wanted to make this video super short. There's a lot of nonsense going on uh, on the interwebs, Reddit, Twitter, whatever. People are speculating, oh, Tesla's using a new battery cell. Oh, Tesla's using a greater battery pack. Uh, this, All this kind of stuff is just nonsense. Tesla hasn't confirmed any of that. But the 2022 model year does not come with any sort of hardware changes specific to the year. Tesla, and in most EVs for that matter, focus more on over-the-air uh, software updates and not the hardware specifically. So they can address a lot uh, of issues uh, remotely. So if you guys are looking into getting into a Tesla now, I would definitely do it. Some would argue you should wait till next year for the federal tax incentives, but that's not guaranteed either. But in terms of hardware changes and whatnot, that just happens sporadically throughout the year. So if you're waiting for a new model year, now's your time to just get the vehicle and be done with it, really. That's it for this video, guys. If you guys liked it, please don't forget to give us some sort of feedback. It's definitely worth subscribing because we have tons and tons of content coming with our Model 3 LFP. We have a wrap reveal coming in the next few days, a one-of-one -one wrap. You guys have definitely never seen it before, and it's going to be super exciting. So stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.